Okay, Helix and Friedman demo. It's probably not particularly loud. I've got a bit of master volume control on the Helix. And it's set fairly loud. That's quite a neat feature. So anyway, what I've set it up is I've got four patches and each one has four snapshots. So what that actually means is that if you look at if you can see the helix, you can see that there's lights along the bottom. Those are the different patches. And then for each of those, I've got four settings of the effects on that patch. So, <clears throat> the problem with presets is that you get a gap in the sound. So if you've got... This is my blank clean sound. And you could hear the gap. But the trouble is with... The trouble is with using snapshots where you don't get the gap is that there's not enough variation available for you. So, <clears throat> I'm not completely convinced I can get it to work just with the snapshots. Maybe I could. I mean, essentially, this is the same program every time. It's got the same delays, reverbs, chorus and modulations and boosters in it with the same effects thing and I've just got them set up with different on and off so I haven't even changed any numbers I've got three different four different delays in there so that I don't have to change any values on it because you could go to stomp box mode and then you can I can change channel I can add the booster I can bring in delays I can lose delays just like that but I'm not complete. Anyway, the sound quality is pretty good though. I mean, this is with the clean channel of the free, well, clean, clean channel of the free one with the Timmy on. It sounds a little wiry because it's so quiet. This is the Friedman Dirty Channel. This is the Friedman Dirty Channel with the Timmy. Whoops. This is the Clean Channel with a few chorus and bits of. And this is a sort of vibe verb thing. <laughs> Absolutely. 